Hello, in this video I'm going to explain how to export your proxy settings into a reg file, which is something that you may want to do if you're an IT administrator and you need to apply proxy settings that log on via a group policy, or perhaps the user needs to be able to quickly change the proxy settings if he or she needs to change networks frequently. So they might have a laptop that they use at work and then take home and they have to either apply or remove the proxy setting or something like that or it might be something that you want to put into a script you run that maybe also joins a computer to a, a network or something like that and I do have a video about how to automatically join the Wi-Fi network through PowerShell scripts so check that out um, I'll also show you how to apply the proxy setting silently through um, how to apply the .reg file silently and that actually applies to all registry files not just the proxy settings I'll show you how to do that for a batch file anyway let's get started the first thing we need to do is actually set the proxy settings on the machine that we want to um, uh, that we want to set the proxies on so we need to um, go into the run command Windows key and R at the same time type in inetcpl.cpl and hit enter and then come into connections LAN settings check the box that says you the proxy server type in cache pilot 8000 and the really nice thing about this method is it also saves other settings as well such as if you turn off automatically detect settings it will save that if you go into advanced and you want to specify uh, you know other options in here for example maybe you don't want to use a proxy server for addresses beginning with the following and then um, you know your 10 dot range maybe you don't want to have proxy settings on that you can change all of those and all of it will be saved and applied which is really really great so click OK there click OK there now we need to go into the registry so we come back into run and I've already been into the registry editor so we just type in regedit in here and um, I've already been and done this before um, just so I could find the location so in the description below is the location of the key you need hkey current user software Microsoft and let's go all the way down to Windows current version and then internet settings now on internet settings right click OK and then choose export now you can call this whatever you want you can save it wherever you want but you might just want to call it proxy.reg OK and then save that and you'll see a little registry file appear in the location you saved it we can close the registry now and you'll notice that if I just go back into the internet settings and I will take out that proxy server that I just set just to prove that the file works okay double click on it and then say yes okay and then if I go back into the internet settings connections LAN settings you can see that the proxy server has now been enabled from there so that's how you create a registry file to apply a proxy setting now if you want to um, apply this silently and by that I mean when you click on it so that it doesn't come out of all these things there's a very very simple way of doing that so if we just put the proxy uh, file into a folder okay you can call the folder whatever you want I'll just drag it into a folder there and then create a new text document call it whatever you want I'm going to call it add proxy here and then in that text document just type in reg import and then providing that this uh, document and the proxy uh, .reg file are in the same folder you can just type the name and then for argument's sake I'm just going to put a pause there but you don't actually need the pause there that's just so that the window doesn't close immediately when we run it because this is going to be a batch file so save it as a batch file Oops, stop that okay save okay now I shall just go into the um, internet settings here and I shall just remove that proxy setting again okay so now when we click on the batch file we can see that the uh, proxy file has been applied but obviously there's no um, that there's no messages or anything like that is completely silent which is really nice and that's really great if you want to run this as part of a script so that you don't get all those pop-ups and as we can see in land settings the uh, the proxy server is there so thank you very much for watching my video I hope you found that helpful